Hi guys. It is a stormy, rainy Ides of March uh, here on this gloomy Tuesday night in the end times. Tuesday, March 15th, uh, 2022. So, uh, where to start this? Uh, first, I want to thank my buddy, uh, what's he calling himself? Bella Lagrisi now for sending me this uh, article earlier <laughs> that had the term, what is this term? I absolutely love it. Malthusian crypto eco fascist. A Malthusian crypto eco fascist. You know guys, I've been down here for how many years calling myself a an eco-Nazi and a depressed collapsitarian. I want to thank uh, the former Osama number five for finally giving me the title that I have been searching for. I am a proud, non-repentant, unapologetic, one more time, Malthusian crypto eco-fascist. And we need more proud unapologetic uh, Malthusian crypto eco-fascist out there. Uh, good for all of the Malthusian, all of my fellow Malthusian crypto eco-fascists. So anyway, uh, I have heard this term eco-fascist has shown up twice in one day on the Ides of March and uh, I was just over there on the, this uh, channel you might have heard of. It's called Collapse Chronicles with that little limp dick uh, eco pussy over there. Uh, this guy, the, what's his name? Sam Mitchell. Uh, you, you know, who, who doesn't have the balls to, to really spell it out. I guess he doesn't want to offend somebody or whatever. But anyway, I was quite impressed. I actually, uh, I, I was, I was actually quite impressed by Sam Mitchell's. Uh, he just read this uh, essay from Chris Hedges, where Chris Hedges finally unloads on what's going on over there with that little distraction across the pond. I, I actually probably would have read the uh, I, I would have read the essay myself. What was the name of uh, Chris's essay I, over there at uh, Counterpunch? I love the title of it. Classic Chris Hedges title: Waltzing Toward Armageddon with the Merchants of Death. And I was quite surprised that uh, that little limp dick uh, eco pussy Sam Mitchell uh, even read that. But uh, when, as long as I was over there on Counterpunch uh, checking it out, the very first, the very first uh, article kicking off the uh, kicking off. Counterpunch uh, was not Chris Hedges, but was the number one article, a short and sweet one, by two people, these little limp dick lefties, Nicholas Jacobson and Kobe Weaver. And the title of theirs was Mormon Mythistries. Richard Hansen in El Mirador. Uh, U.S. settler colonial capitalist imperialism, white Christian Zionism, and eco fastist conservation in Guatemala. All right, we have some, one more time. What is going on in El Mirador, Guatemala? I have been visiting El Mirador, Guatemala since I was 14. Uh, if you've ever heard of Tikal, 
Uh, it's uh, it's that northeastern, uh, the El Peten sometimes it's called, Tikal is up there, uh, sometimes it's called El Mirador, it, it's up there, hugs up against Belize, and uh, it is one of the most uh, deforested wastelands, an absolute wasteland. I remember going there when I was 14 and then returning Good God, I returned again when I was in my 30s, and the last time I was there was 2006, was absolutely fucking horrified by uh, the devastation going on uh, up there, and what it was, was a classic example of planet nibbling. Alright, so I'm going to come back. And, and, uh, and we're going to pull the fucking gloves off of this motherfucking noble, the myth of the noble savage. Instead of Mormon mythistries, we're, we're, we're going to blow the fucking lid off this bullshit, limp dick lefty, noble savage shit. I've had it up to fucking here. I've seen it with my own fucking eyes. Okay? I've seen what these planet-nibbling little fuckers uh, have done down there in El Mirador. And anyway, so I'm going to read this little limp dick, lefty, uh, lead-off article and counterpunch uh, from, from, from these little fucktards, uh, whoever the fuck these little limp dicks are. And then we're going to come down and we're going to have a fucking dose of reality here on Humpty Dumpty Tribe because I guarantee you that fucking little limp dick, Sam Mitchell, is never going to fucking set the record straight what's going on down there in fucking Guatemala and all over the goddamn planet. All right. This is a hatchet piece on some dude named Richard Hansen who I'm quite sure is a scumbag. <clears throat> Richard Hansen is a white Mormon archaeologist and capitalist from the United States. He has been working for over 40 years in Petén, Guatemala in the Maya Biosphere Reserve. The Maya Biosphere Reserve among the ancient Maya city of El Mirador. Coupled with his archaeology, Hansen has been working toward building a privately owned eco-tourist wilderness resort in the forest of El Mirador. Most of the Maya Biosphere Reserve is occupied by concessions communities that manage these forests through sustainable logging. These communities are made up of indigenous Maya and local Ladino, meaning Latino, uh, meaning European, of the, you know, back uh, for the, 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 the remnants of the conquistadors and local Ladino communities, some of which have been stewarding, stewarding these forests for generations despite decades of anti-leftist, genocidal, scorched earth campaigns enacted against them by their own government, funded and backed by U.S and Israel, of course. Hansen's project would ban logging. Hmm. Hansen's project would ban logging, turning Maya and local communities, meaning non-Mayan local communities, from collective stewards of a forest. From collective stewards of a forest to employees of a park. It would bring spiritual tourism from Book of Mormon themed companies like Anderson Tours, LDS Tours Cancun, 
blah, blah, blah. Uh, quote, any use of this particular area of forest other than ecotourism would be to me the equivalent of using the Grand Canyon for a garbage dump, Hansen told Smithsonian Magazine while they flew over the reserve. Just as many U.S. national parks were created through settler-enacted massacres and forced displacements of indigenous people of this land, Hansen's project would also take a militarized, anti-indigenous approach to establish this private park in Maya land. I don't know why he didn't say Mayan. Anyway, guys, okay. We're going to fucking cut the fucking crap, and we're going to hear from a Malthus, from a, an unapologetic non-repentant Malthusian eco, no, crypto eco uh, defending a fucking Mormon. Uh, okay, first let's look at a little bit of history. Uh, a lot of these, uh, like the indigenous people talking about in, uh, in, in our own shithole country, you know, uh, pretty easy to blame Honky on this. What you gotta remember, when Honky got to what is now present-day Guatemala, okay, the fucking Mayan Indians, the civilization, the Mayan civilization had already collapsed with no help from Honky. We didn't need any Mormon ecotourism. We didn't need any fucking capitalist. The Mayans already had collapsed hundreds of years before Honky ever got there. Tikal and El Mirador, where he's an archaeologist, were already covered up by jungle when the conquistadors got there. So this is one... One of the few, but this is one you can't fucking pin on Honky. These motherfuckers did it all to themselves. So when Honky got there, and I have spent a lot of time in, in, in Guatemala getting this story uh, from, from people who had the fucking balls to explain it to me. And, and believe me, I used to sound just like th these little limp dick social justice warriors. So, so by the time that Honky got there, uh, you know, 1492, Columbus sailed the ocean blue. So in the 1500s, what was left of the Mayan civilization were these scattered little bands up in the highlands, up in the, up in the mountains, you know, up above the lowland rainforest of, uh, of El Mirador and Tikal and whatnot. So there weren't even any Mayans left in the lowlands. Their civilization had already collapsed because they overshot their carrying capacity, which is the same reason the global industrial civilization is about say so, so follow me so the so the fucking Mayans uh, what was left of them uh, hightailed it to the high mountains you know where you think of them you know hoeing their corn and all of those little beautiful little postcards you see of those adorable little Mayan the little brown ones you know and uh, so this goes on for years now. You can get into this whole lefty argument about what the fuck went down in, in Guatemala, particularly in the last half of the 20th century. You can, you can get on your little fucking lefty bandwagon, talk about all your goddamn Western imperialist wars and uh, the, you know, the disappearing of all those, and you would be 100% correct what was going on up in the highlands. 
is uh, that the uh, is uh, that the U.S. and imperialist and the capitalist and for and the usual uh, suspects were guilty as charged in the genocide of the what was left the tattered remnants of the Highland Mayan Indians. And so to escape that, to escape that genocide, uh, which really, I think, uh, hit its height, uh, in, like in the early 1990s, I was wintering down there. I would drive through there from 1990 to 1995. I actually drove through Guatemala on my way to Costa Rica, spent a lot of time uh, in, in Guatemala. So what happened uh, as a natural response to this fucking genocide that uh, the blood that the U.S. does have on its hands, a shitload of those guys, uh, those Mayan Indians, did exactly what you would have done or I would have done. You would have gotten your little brown ass off of those fucking mountains and run back to the jungle. They ran back to the same jungle that they had abandoned uh, like 800 years before when the Mayan civilization collapsed under its own weight. So they hadn't even been there. The fucking Mayan Indians had not even been there. Okay, for like 800 years. So when I went down there, and so uh, I went down there in, in, in 1974. I was 14 years old. So uh, a lot of this was, was in a, a just beginning. And uh, so my initial memory of all of that era, it was still, you know, I, I mean, just, well, it wasn't untouched rainforest, it was recovered rainforest. It's where the ecosystem had recovered from these noble, savage Mayan Indians uh, who had destroyed it a thousand fucking years before, before Honky ever got there. So they go back there, and, and, it's, and it's not just there. It, it, was, it was all over there. And uh, where I really saw this happening, it, it, every bit as bad or even worse was in what they call... I think it's called the Rio Dulce National Park. Ten miles from a fucking road. Uh, you have to get on a boat and go ten miles. I thought in 2006, I thought I was going back to uh, a, a, a fucking national park because it had this little green area and called it a national park just like they call this fucking hilarious, they put a little green area and call it a fucking biosphere reserve. Uh, so I was spent uh, a lot of time in Rio Dulce National Park and uh, perhaps Vloydezang, Vloydezang. Uh, Vloydezang, I would love to hear your little limp dick lefty opinion of, uh, uh, of this story. So I get down there in 2006 thinking I'm going to a fucking national park and what I find is two basic things going on. On one hand uh, I find a bunch of rich honkies, gringos, uh, from, from all over, uh, either rich Guatemalans, mainly drug dealers, these big uh, cocaine kingpins uh, a, a bunch of gringos, there are a bunch of rich fucking Texans down there, whatnot. So what you had, th this like side by side, you would have these rich gringos, they would go down there in what was called a national park. And it was so corrupt on there and, and somehow claim a piece of land as theirs. They would build their, you know, their little uh, tropical villa. In, uh, in, in their little piece of tropical paradise and the land, you know, let's call it 10 or 20 acres would be absolutely beautiful, lush, green, 
uh, rainforest uh, full of birds and everything and the and the eco I was staying at the Gringo Perdido Eco Lodge is where I was staying uh, at, at this beautiful eco lodge out in the jungle so you had all of these honkies down there these rich honkies who did not need to rape and pillage the rainforest. So, the, 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 ironically enough, the only rainforest remaining inside the fucking national park were, were these pieces of the national park that these fucking rich gringos. And, and the other uh, half of the equation was these Mayan refugees who had poured in down there into the uh, tropical rainforest lowlands from the highlands and they were down there in their little mud floor shacks and 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 what they had done is like virtually every fucking uh, every little bush had been cleared off of their lands I, I mean it was it was everywhere the fucking Mayan Indians were these poverty stricken refugees from, uh, the, the, you know, this U.S. Uh, war against the, you know, their, 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 hi, their Highlanders. You know, they were used to growing corn and, you know, the, these in, uh, corn and onions and garlic and, and squash and beans up in the Highlands. So they get down there. And, and, and they fucking, and, and, and they have no business trying to grow these crops down there in the rainforest. They, it didn't work. Uh, they destroyed every fucking square inch of, uh, of everywhere they settled. And, and, and of course, they had, uh, you know, th th their yards were full uh, uh, of kids. They, they, they all had pigs running around, rooting up the whole fucking place. It was an absolute moonscape uh, that uh, the, the, these noble, savage Mayan Indians, uh, that, the, that these fucking little limp dick lefties are calling indigenous stewards of the land. They were raping and pillaging the land. Every fucking, like Bill Gaty was saying, every fucking uh, thing bi bigger than a mouse went in the fucking stew pot. Do you fucking get it? They absolutely destroyed every single fucking square inch of everywhere they invaded. Uh, and, and the, and, and what was, and the story of the, Mayan Biosphere Reserve, uh, you know, go, just Google uh, environmental destruction in the Mayan Biosphere Reserve, and I'm, and I'm not pretending for one fucking minute that uh, the usual suspects, in addition to these little planet nibblers, are all the fucking uh, cattle grazers and probably the fucking gold miners mostly uh, the cattle grazers going in there these illegal loggers paying off the you, you know the fucking uh, cops and everything there's plenty of that shit it is open warfare uh, the, the only place still left uh, that, that has any chance any fucking chance uh, uh, of being the goddamn seed basket uh, to regenerate uh, after humans thankfully go fucking extinct. Uh, the, the goddamn jungle has already been through this shit with those fucking noble savages. They did it once, they're fucking doing it again. Hallelujah, you fucking Mormon capitalist. Send all the fucking money from uh, the U.S. and, and Israel and, uh, and, and, and get those fucking noble savages to put their fucking chainsaws away. Sustainable logging stewards of their fucking planet. 
give me a fucking break. Pull your fucking little limp dick uh, out of your ass. Sick and tired of this motherfucking noble savage bullshit. It's fucking bullshit. Humans are fucking, uh, humans are fucking humans. You know? We're, we're fucking bloodthirsty, planet-eating savages. Uh, whatever tool we have to use to take down this planet, we're going to fucking do it. It doesn't matter whether we have a fucking acre inside a national park or whatever. <clears throat> There's too many fucking humans on this fucking planet. And you're goddamn straight. I'm a, I'm a Malthusian a crypto eco fastest. Hell yeah, brother. Bring on the Malthusian uh, crypto eco fascist. Sick and tired of this fucking bullshit. Anyway. But you should go over there uh, and listen to that little eco pussy over there at Collapse Chronicles. Read that excellent. Uh, that excellent uh, essay by Chris Hedges on what's going on over there. At least, uh, at least fucking Counterpunch, I think, understands a little bit more about what's going on in Ukraine than they do in the fucking, uh, in fucking Guatemala. It is rape. It is pillage going on in Guatemala by everybody. That's what I'm... Bye, guys.